Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about one of my most anticipated books of the year, Waif by Samantha Kolznick. Uh, this came early. I pre-ordered it. Um, as soon as I heard about it, I went out, uh, I went and uh, pre-ordered it. And the, I, something happened and they had to ship the pre-orders early. I don't think the book is out yet. I believe it comes out in December, December 12th, something like that. Um, so this is kind of a, an advanced review, but I will leave uh, links to, if there's a pre-order, I'll leave all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, so this book, this book is something else. Uh, I had, it, it, for those of you who are here for the TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch, uh, I absolutely loved this book. It is a, such a refreshing, refreshing horror story in uh, a, an age where everything seems like it's just regurgitated or riffing off other works or whatever. Uh, this one is about a woman named Angie. It is told in the first person from Angie's perspective. And she is married to a man named Matt, who is uh, physically abusive. He's just an all-around jerk, all-around piece of shit. Um, one day while she's at the grocery store, she bumps into a uh, androgynous man named Ben. Um, I bring up androgynous for, for a reason. This book is uh, very much about self-discovery. Uh, but she bumps into this uh, guy looking for marshmallows, and she falls pretty much falls instantly in love with the dude uh, and starts stalking him. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to tell you about the storyline, um, other than uh, th with her and her husband have a very odd relationship. Both of them have issues. Like I said, he's abusive. Um, she's definitely not stable whatsoever. Uh, but uh, I believe, I don't think this is too big of a spoiler. Um, he, her husband, finds out about Ben, and well, she tells him about Ben, and he wants to have, Matt, her husband, wants to have plastic surgery to look just like Ben. And things spiral out of control from that point on. Uh, the, the, I had no idea, just like with her first book, uh, True Crime, I had no idea where this was going. Um, it had it, every single page was something unexpected. Uh, probably after the first third of the book, I was just like, okay, I'm just along for the ride. The writing is absolutely phenomenal. Um, Sam, Sam Samantha Kolznick is just a, I, I'm in awe of her talent. Uh, the the book it, <laughs> it's. I don't. The only criticism that I would have is I would have loved to have hang, hung, hung around uh, these characters a little longer. But that's that's more of a compliment than anything else because I, I didn't want the book to end. Uh, it's only a hundred pages. It is a super super quick read with super short chapters. Um, but the character development. I'm gonna go ahead and go through my three that I look for: character pacing and dread. So the characters, uh, Matt and Angie completely broken, completely uh, unstable people. Uh, and then there, there's Ben, there's his wife Shelly um, that we don't get much of. Um, Shelly is pregnant. Uh, ben comes in to, toward the end in a, in a bigger uh, I don't know, a bigger part than I expected. Um, that, that scene where he, he pops up is uh, was I thought it was absolutely horrifying, um, but anyways, I don't want to tell you too much about it because I want you to go in completely blind. There is a there there is a bit toward the end um, where it reminded me very heavily uh, of Eight Millimeter, the Nicolas Cage film. Uh, I am a, a massive fan of things like that, of like not really found footage, but of seedy underbelly uh, movie production and, and things like that. Uh, it, it just checked off all the, the, the right marks for me. Um, another thing is, I, I said this on Twitter, and I'm gonna repeat it here. Uh, I would say this is the type of book that David Cronenberg would write, a very, very David Cronenberg. Um, but I read his book Consumed, and this is by far a better experience. Uh, I, okay, so I, I'm sorry. I'm very happy with this book. I'm trying to wrap my head around everything that I want to say because uh, I go off the cuff 
uh, with these reviews. So the next thing, we're going to go talk about the pacing. The book speeds along, and it's not just because of the... Uh, the way it's written, like the short chapters, um, or that the book is short. I, I read it in two sittings. I went through the first half of the book in one sitting, um, and then the next by the next day I was done. Uh, the the pacing. I never had a moment where I was like, you know, get on with it or anything. It was it just kept chugging along. Uh, I was impressed that the tension uh, was maintained throughout the entire story, which brings me to the dread. Uh, you know something bad is happening. You know something bad is going on behind the scenes with Matt and the plastic surgery and all that stuff. You know something bad is coming and it's only going to get worse and worse. Um, and then you have, you know, you, you get to the climax and you're like, holy, holy hell. It's, it, it's very, very gnarly and very, very upsetting. Um, this is probably too late for this, but content warnings uh, for, for rape and uh, body dysmorphia. Uh, those two things, because this is definitely a body horror story. Uh, I, I said on Twitter is full of unabashed debauchery and gnarly body horror. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, this is a story about self-discovery, and I loved following Angie on on her journey, um, trying to find herself, trying to figure out what her who she was uh, instead of who other people wanted her to be or who she had built herself up as in her head because of the expectations of other people. Um, I absolutely despised Matt um, and the, the doctor, Dr. Mintz, um, which I thought was a funny name uh, for the guy given he's a plastic surgeon. Uh, so it, the... Every everything about this, I'm I'm trying my best not uh, not to just fanboy all over this, but I I really don't have anything negative to say about it other than I wanted it to be longer. Did it need to be longer? Hell no. Uh, it's perfect just the way it is. But I wanted to follow these characters some more, and I definitely wanted more. Uh, Rena and uh, what was the other girl's name? The the waifs. But anyways. That's kind of spoilery, uh, but yeah, the the two women that that she meets, um, I keep wanting to call her Journey. That's that's not it, but it's uh it's Irina or Rena, and another woman. Uh, those two characters were both disturbing and fun to read about. I think they were so fun because they were so disturbing to read about. Um, I found, I, I, you know how I am. The the positive reviews go on much much shorter than my negative reviews because I don't know what else to say um, other than this book is fantastic. If you got your hands on it early, congratulations. If not, uh, as soon as it is available, I suggest you go out and get it. I, I know Grindhouse, which is the publisher, um, I know they are not doing pre-orders any longer, so I will, like I said, if I can find the Amazon link to a pre-order, uh, then you guys can pre-order it over there. I will probably end up doing a book birthday uh, when the book finally drops uh, wide with a wide release uh, because I want you guys to read it. I want you guys to check it out and definitely get the, the paperback. It is a beautiful book. Grindhouse always does uh, immaculate covers. It's just absolutely gorgeous. But I mean, look how thin it is. You're, you're going to blow through it in a day, if not just, you know, one or two hours. Most of you. I read slow. But anyways, have you read Waif? Did you get your pre-order copy? Did you blow through it like I did? Or are you coming to this after uh, after it's finally out with, with its wide release? If you have, let me know whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, whether or not you felt meh about it. But if you felt any of those things, let me know in detail down there in the doobly-doo so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!